good morning children how are you all i hope you are all fine and safe at your home yes first of all i welcome you all to grade 8 yes you have all promoted from grade 7 to grade 8 yes in our 6th and 7th we have studied about ancient and medieval history in our 8th we are going to study about colonial rule in india Yes, let's go for our first lesson. How, when and where. These are the words that associate with history are any past events. For example, how did that happen? When did that happen? Where it happened? These all words indicates past events. Of course, on grammar point of view, we always use this word in future events. How is it going to happen? When will it happen? Where is it going to take place? Since we are reading history, here we took it for the past events. Yes, let's go for our first topic. How important are dates? First of all, I wish to ask you one question. Do you feel history as a boring subject? Yes. I know the reason. Because of memorizing all these dates. Yes, but you must understand that history is much more important than dates. It is the comparison of past and present events. When you start to compare the past and present events, then you find history as an interesting. Yes, do you all like tea? Yes, I do like it. Do you know when did people begin to drink tea and how did tea plantation started in India? Like this, all questions we can find an answer in history. Yes, notice there were two questions like when and how. The how part is the explanation or reason. How did it happen? And the when part is the date. When did it happened. Yes, so history is always associated with dates which makes comparison easier. However, you need to understand that there is no one clear date for any events to occur. For example, we can't fix one single date on which British rule was established in India. We all know that British came to India on 1608 and started ruling in 1757 but we don't have a particular date for their establishment yes likewise all history is associated with date but we don't have a particular date for it and our next topic is very crucial one by which criteria do we choose a set of dates as important Yes, you need to understand that all historical dates are not important. So, ones that are important purely due to the event that occur in that time. Yes, I will say one example for it. The date 1608 is not important until the British arrives. Yes, and next, if our focus of study changes, if we begin to Look at new issues, a new set of dates will appear important. For example, take your birthday. I was born on June 4, 1994. I remembered this date because of the event, that is my birthday. If I didn't born on June 4, I won't remember the date. Can you understand? Yes, and then... Most of the Indian histories were written by British historians because they were the rulers and highly educated than Indians. Yes, these historians started to write the rule of first governor general. Who is the first governor general of India? Yes, I hope someone guessed the answer. It's Warren Hastings. And ended with the last Viceroy Lord Mountbatten. And all the dates in these history books are linked with these personalities. 
in says the, their policies achievements activities but this is not the correct way to know about the history because it only focuses on the governor general and there is nothing about the indians so we have to concentrate in the new set of dates so if we want to set a new format of history how we have to periodize it let us see one personality that james mill he was a scottish economist and political philosopher he published a three volume of work in 1817 and the book name was a history of british india and james mill divided indian history into three periods he divided indian history into three periods first one is a hindu muslim and british yes it's true before the arrival of british there were religious discrimination like caste creed and superstitious activities so because of these james mill thought that all asian societies were uncivilized and he felt that british rule could civilize india and he said that the period before british rule was one of darkness and after the british rule india is civilized is it true children india is uncivilized before british rule or after the british rule yes we can't accept that concept and another division were came up in indian history that is ancient medieval and modern this division also has a problem because modern period is said to be a growth of all modernity like science reason democracy liberty and equality can we accept this division no because modern period is described the british period as we all know very well that under british rule people did not have equality freedom or liberty because indians were treated as the slaves of british and the economic level of our country were also very poor yes so many historians refer to this period as colonial yes that's all children your today's class is over note down your activity complete your activity in page 3 yes we will meet in next class thank you